Hey guys, um, so today I wanted to show you my bookshelf of toys, uh, and books also. Um, I'm probably going to be changing up some of the things that I have on here because it is just getting to be a little overwhelming. I'm running out of room. I have new things that I want to display, so uh, I figured I would just make a quick video and show you what I have currently. Um, and some of this stuff actually belongs to my boyfriend too, so... Uh, this is his Yoda figure that he got from Toys R Us. They uh, they put these on clearance for like $30. Um, but he actually responds to like voice commands and he turns around and uh, he's got his little lightsaber and his staff, which you can change out and he does different things. Uh, these are my Reproduction Totally Hair Barbies, which this is the one that I actually won. And I decided to open her up, which I think I might make a separate video on her. Um, not that I am not grateful for having her, but I have some gripes about this doll. And I might do a little comparison with the old one. Um, and this one I actually bought, which I was not planning on buying any of these. Uh, but they were running a sale at Toys R Us, and so I got her for 20 instead of 25 And the other reason that I got her, which, let me see if I can zoom in here. Do you see how she has puffy bangs? I was sort of excited about that because that was one of my gripes. If you look at this one, you can see that her bangs are really flat and kind of boring, which is not true to the original doll. And they just, they don't even fluff up. I mean, maybe it's because you don't have the, uh, the Depp hair gel. I, I don't know. But that was why I got her, which I mean, honestly, they're just disheveled in the box, but... In my mind, I said poofy bangs. So, there's her. Here we have the 11 underwater figure, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, so we had to get her. Very cool looking. And to the back, Welly Wisher and my Twyla figure, which she is awesome. Although her hair was not so awesome when I took her out of the box. I had to kind of poof it up, so that's why she looks like she's got an afro, but I really like how it looks. And the boyfriend's uh, G.I. Joe thing back there. All right, on this shelf, again, it's kind of a mixture of things. So over here is the boyfriend's wrestling stuff. That's a Mankind uh, resin figure. That is a sweetie pup to the back with his little biscuit and whatnot. Uh, obviously, that is a Care Bear to the back I have. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, that is a poison dart frog that I got at the Mad Monster Convention, uh, which I was really excited to get. We have some random uh, squinkies and shopkins. To the back, we have a bucket pin. We have Taz, which uh, I think I showed him off in one of my prior videos, but his outfit actually comes off and there's just a regular figure underneath. We have some modern day Hot Wheels. We have some Micro Machines, some more Squinkies to the back. This uh, root beer truck back here is smelly. If you shake it, it will smell like root beer. And that Travel Club card will actually open to kind of like a little... I don't know, sort of a playset, little mini thing. And these are all of the boyfriend's wrestling minifigures, which I think he said he's only missing, I don't know, three, maybe? I want to say Walmart exclusives, possibly. But a near-complete set. All right, down here, again, we have some of the boyfriend's stuff. Hot Wheels, obviously that is an LOL doll. Uh, I have a Slowpoke figure here. All my little Cabbage Patch PVCs, which I like very much. And, uh, you know, going along with my loving miniature things. This is actually a bread clip, but it looks like a little loaf of bread, so I love it. I've got some little sushis and my little glass turtle back there. Uh, these are, what, the Num Noms. And this is a light, which... Um, I want to say you squeeze her to turn around, but... Oh, there we go. And this guy turns on as well. And also smelly, which is very exciting. 
Uh, this is a trilobite, trilobite, not sure how you pronounce it. Got that from the Adirondack Mountains. Some more LOL dolls. I've got a Tsum Tsum. Uh, some more wrestling figures, obviously. Some glow worms. Some vintage uh, Disney plastic rings, like the quarter machine rings. I love those. This is a, oh gosh, a mollusk fossil. I like that very much. Also got that from the Adirondacks. This is a wind-up Pac-Man, which is awesome. And then this, something I had when I was little. I don't know if this came with something. Little baby dolls, but I like it. Very small. All right, and then down here, of course, we have Popples. Uh, this is a Feisty Pets, I think is what they call this. Uh, I'm not going to take him out. There's a video, I think, on my Instagram where I show you the secret of this thing. Uh, these are all my cupcake dolls, which this lady is my most recent addition. I was waiting to get her for a very long time, and then finally somebody lo uh, listed her with all her pieces. So I was pretty excited about that. In the back there is a Smurf book, one of my favorites. This is my uh, Lika, Lika Chan doll, which I just got her the other day, and I'm waiting on uh, some outfits for her. This is, oh my gosh, you guys are going to kill me. I love Monster High. Um, it's not Frankie. It's one of the other ones, but I like her very much. Uh, Sweet Secrets doll, and then this um, she's not wearing the right outfit, but the shoes tell me that this is the All-American Teresa doll, I think. But I think she's super pretty. I actually put together this outfit. It was just some random pieces I had, but I love her eyes. They are, like, extremely green, and then I put on, uh, oh, it's the Barbie that has the watch on her shirt, but that is her headband. I thought that kind of looked cute with that, so there she is. So, other than the books, that is what I have on my bookshelf currently. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll make another video like this once uh, things change enough to be worth my time. So, hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye!